हेलो चिल्ड्रेन हाव यू टूडे सब्जेक्ट इज जोग्राफी स्टैंडर्ड सेवन चिल्ड्रेन इन लास्ट लेसन वीडियो वी स्टार्टेड अवर लेसन नंबर फाइव विंड्स इन दिस लेसन वी लर्न वॉट इज द विंड द मूवमेंट ऑफ एयर इज कॉल्ड विंड एंड वी नो द एयर मूव फ्रॉम द हाई प्रेशर एरिया टूवर्ड्स द लो प्रेशर एरिया due to this moment due to this situation winds are generate in last video we started studying some types of wind we learn about the planetary wind and today we are going to learn some more types of wind let's see what they are children in last video we learn about the planetary wind so here number 2 local winds Let's see some information about local winds. The winds that blow for a short duration of time originate in specific region and blow over a limited area are called local winds. Local winds are affect the climate of the region where they blow. These winds are known by different local name in the different region where they blow. So children these kinds of winds are called local winds let's see some types of local winds number 1 the valley breeze and the mountain breeze children look at the picture in this picture we can see the mountain area with the help of this picture we are going to describe what is the valley breeze children in this picture we can see the sun is rise means it is day time Let's see what is the valley breeze. Children, at the day time, mountain heat up quickly. Comparatively, the valley zone is cool than the mountain. Therefore, the air pressure is the greater in the valley zone, and the winds are blow from the valley towards the mountain. The hot and the light air from the mountain is pushed downward into the valley. and the cool air from the valley rush upward to the mountain due to this situation valley breeze or the valley winds are generate at the mountain areas valley winds set in day time after sunrise so children this valley winds or valley breeze we can experience at the mountain areas during the day time let's see what is the mountain breeze and how this mountain breeze are generate children at the night mountain cool down quickly comparatively valley zone is warmer therefore the air pressure is greater on the mountain and the winds are blow from the mountains towards the valley the hot and the light air from the valley is push upward and the cool air from the mountain rush down into the valley due to this situation the mountain winds or the mountain breeze are generate children this mountain breeze we can experience at mountain areas during the night time children this is mountain breeze and valley breeze let's see the next type of local winds and these are land breeze and sea breeze let's see children you can see the diagram of sea breeze and land breeze with the help of this diagram we are going to understand what is the sea breeze and land breeze before that let's see the geographical reason behind the occurrence of sea breeze and land breeze children the land is made up of dense matter land is stable and opaque as a result heat is transferred at greater speed and in a higher proportion hence land get heated quickly and the density of water is comparatively less water is transparent and unstable hence water does not get heated quickly as a result the air pressure in the land and water areas is different so children This is the geographical reason behind the occurrence of sea breeze and land breeze. Let's see 
how the situation affects on the wind so children in the coastal area land get heated during the day time hence the air on the land also get heated and the air pressure on the land decrease comparatively the sea water get heated slowly hence the air is less heated and the air pressure remains high therefore the winds blowing from the sea towards the land are called sea breeze at night the land cool down faster as compared to the sea and therefore has a higher air pressure hence the land breeze blow from the land towards the sea so children this is how the land breeze and the sea breeze are generated at the coastal area beside this the winds blow under the particular condition in the different area these are also called local winds for example fawn chinook bora loo all these are the local winds let's see the next type of wind number 3 seasonal winds monsoon monsoon winds are generated due to the uneven heating of land and water in the different season during the summer monsoon blow from the sea to the land in the winter they blow from the land to the sea in the southeast asia east africa north australia are the region where the pronounced effect of these winds are felt the influence of the monsoon winds is seen in the summer and winter season in the indian subcontinent due to these winds the indian subcontinent experience monsoon means rains and the retreating monsoon season apart from the summer and winter children these monsoon winds are in the fact sea and the land breeze blowing on large scale most of the precipitation in the indian subcontinent is the effect of monsoon wind after crossing the equator they blow from the southwest towards the indian subcontinent during the period from the june to september they are called the southwest monsoon they are full of moisture therefore the indian subcontinent experience monsoon or rain from the september to december because of the low pressure area developing near the equator therefore the winds blow from the indian subcontinent towards the equator these are called the northeast monsoon winds they are dry winds so children in this lesson video we learn about some local winds valley breeze and mountain breeze we also learn about the sea breeze and land breeze we also get the information about monsoon winds thank you